1980 Mount St. Helens volcanic eruption was the deadliest in U.S. history. We had a major eruption occurring at 8.32 approximately. The first to occur in the era of live television. The northwest flank of the mountain seems to be gone. Never before had the world witnessed a volcano's destructive power in real time. But while a media event, it was also an unprecedented opportunity for scientists. The 1980 eruption was the first to be thoroughly monitored with a variety of geophysical instruments, observing and measuring the processes that produced such an explosive fury. Eight, four, five. Since then, scientists have kept a close eye on the Yellowstone caldera, watching for unusual activity. Geophysicist David Menson is trying to decipher strange signals coming from Yellowstone Lake. These signals are picked up by instruments buried under the lake, far beneath the Earth's crust. Menson and his team couldn't believe the readings they got. Mysterious messages from the deep. We thought the instrument was malfunctioning until we noticed that it was showing up on all the instruments simultaneously. They realized the lake was making waves, undetectable to the eye, but registering on the instruments water moving back and forth like water displaced in a bathtub. This water, this big weight of water going back and forth is essentially pushing down on the, the crust on top of the caldera, and it, it's reacting differently because the layer underneath is more like a fluid than, it's, than it is a solid. And we don't understand what's forcing this to happen. And it's not just the water making waves the ground itself is moving. Beginning in 2004, scientists discovered a quarter of the Yellowstone caldera was rising nearly three inches a year, right over the magma chamber. It was about 25 centimeters over that entire uh, four to six year period. Then in 2010, the Earth slowly started going back down. No one's quite sure what's causing this rise and fall. People still argue about exactly what it means. The meaning of these geologic clues may be up for debate, but there's little doubt about the economic costs of a Yellowstone super eruption. According to FEMA, the estimated economic losses in the U.S. could run up to $3 trillion. The effects on the world economy would be equally catastrophic if a global volcanic winter resulted. So are we prepared for this event? Probably not. <laughs>